Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this video session, I will show you how you will use commands in Jupyter Notebook. Let's start the session. In the search bar, you will write Anaconda Navigator. This is Anaconda Navigator. You can click on it. No, this Anaconda is going to be initialized. After this, you will launch Jupyter Notebook. Okay, this is Anaconda Navigator. These are different environments are available, but I will click on this Jupyter Notebook. This is Jupyter Notebook. I will click on the launch. Now it will launch the Jupyter Notebook environment. Now here I will create a new file. That is my first file. I will click on new. This is new button. I will click on this new and then Python 3. I will give a name to this file, Jupyter Notebook file. Suppose I am writing here, this is my tutorial number one, tutorial one. Okay, I have given a name, tutorial one. Now this is name, tutorial one. I want to check whether it's working or not. I will write print, hello world. When I will run this, it is showing me message, hello world. It means this is in working condition. So first of all, what I will do, I want to copy a CSV file into current working directory. That is very, very important. How to check current working directory? How to check current work, working directory? For this purpose, I will import import operating system and then I will use operating system dot get current working directory. I will magnify this operating system dot current working directory. When I will run this, it shows me my current working directory in C drive, users and shares. I will copy my file into this place. Because right now, if I will import pandas and then I will try to get this file, that file will not be available into the current directory. Okay. For that purpose, I will copy that file, vaccination file into that folder. This is my file country underscore vaccination. I will copy this file. Copy. This is my C drive. This is users. Shares. I will paste here. I will paste here country underscore vaccination. Okay. This is my file. You can see what is in this file. This file contains so many rows. This much. I am going to close this file. I will rename this file. Rename and I need to copy the name of this file Control C and now I will write this command import pandas as PD. Okay. Now I have created alias of panda as a PD. Okay. Now I can access all the all the properties of pandas by using PD keyword. After this, I need to read this file. How I will read this file? I will write PD dot read underscore next file extension which file extension if you are using excel you you should write excel like this excel and if you are going to read csv file write csv csv and then file name in double quote okay this is my file name it will read the data and it will store into one variable okay that should be on the left side what should be the name you can write any name but I am going to write vaccinations. Okay, vaccinations. When I will run this command, okay, it means this command has been executed. This star shows that this command has been executed. Okay, this shows me error. They are, they are showing me this file is not available. This file is not found. Okay, what's wrong is with that? Because I did not give the CSV extension. Control C, Control V, and I will write dot CSV. Okay, now I'm going to run this. Now they are not showing me any error. Okay, now what I will do, I'm using head function. I will write vaccinations, vaccinations dot head. When I will write vaccinations dot head, and then I will run this button, it will show me first five rows of this file. Zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, first four rows, first five rows of this file. Okay, by using this vaccinations dot head and if I will write what they will shows me they will shows me first five 
rows of the file and if i will use tail control c control v tail i will use tail function then it will shows me last five rows of the file last five rows of the file okay when you will run this okay these are the last five rows of the file one two three four five and if you will use vaccination dot tail control c control v for example if you are writing seven okay and then execute this command run now it will shows me last seven rows one two three four five six seven 